Today we're going to open, build, and fly the Gala Spitfire modeled after a World War II plane. Here's your box that comes in. Alright, let's unbox it and start putting it together. There's your wing parts. Instructions, rest of the parts, two bags. There we go, there's all the parts. Let's open it up and get started. Here's your wing parts. Once we get it out of the bag, there we go. There's a bag, there's a wing, elevator, and the rudder. Here's the rest of your parts. Let's open it up. There's your parts. I see some extra rubber bands in case we break one. There's your instructions. Shows you how to build it. The other side shows you how to fly it. Let's get started here. There's your fuselage. We'll unclip the landing gear. There we go. There's your wing mounts. They clip right through the two little holes on the side and then they snap together. Just be sure you got the wing mount up so that the wing can sit on it. There we go. Let's put the wing in. Just be sure you got the rounded section in the front. There we go. It's kind of a tight fit, but it'll slip right through the wing mounts. It is kind of a tight fit. It means it won't move around very much. Slide it over to the center of the wing, right about there. Okay. Let's put the elevator on. Push the center out for the rudder to go through. Slips right in there. There we go. The rudder slips in the slot right there and in the plastic slots. Whoops. Big hands sometimes get in the way. Turn the rudder around. There we go. It slips right through that slot right there. Right down in there. Just like that. Here's your tape to hold everything down. Haven't done this before. You almost need a knife or something to pull the tape off. The rudder came off, but we'll tape it on here in a minute. Have to look at the directions sometime to see which piece of tape goes on the wing. Okay, we got it now. Peel the piece of tape off like so. Slip it over the mounts and tape it to the wing so your wing is fastened to the wing mounts. Like that, both sides. Another one here too. There we go. Tape it down like so. So it's stuck down, it won't move. Okay. Now let's put the elevator back on. We'll tape it down. Once again, use my pocket knife to get under the edge of it. it peels right off. There it goes. And tape it down to the mount. 
fasten it down good so it don't come off again. Yeah, the other side also. See, without a pocket knife, you almost can't get these tapes off. Stick it down to the mount, like this. Fasten it down, press it real good. Okay. Let's put the rudder back in. In the slot, you got two plastic slots to go into. Right there. Whoop, knocked it off. Oh well, we'll put it back on. We'll get it taped down here in a minute and it won't go anywhere. Right there. Peel off your little piece of tape now and it sticks it to the body of the fuselage. There it is. Alright, right there. A little black plastic mount to the side of the rudder. Holds it together. Now let's do the other side. second piece. Tape it down just like you did the other side. Right there. Fasten it down real good. Press it down. There you go. And we'll get it all put together. Clear the parts away. I think we're about ready to fly it. Let's wind it up a little bit and see what it'll do here on the table. Remember clockwise. Looking at it. There we go. It works. All right, let's take it flight. We're going to fly it in the house a couple of times just to see if we've got it adjusted correctly. Remember, clockwise. Looking at it, it's clockwise. Doesn't have to be wound up too big because we don't have a lot of room to fly it here. We just want to see how it does. went pretty good didn't it fairly straight let's give it a, another try see how we can do yep that looks good let's take it outside all right we're outside now and remember we bought an electric winder a while back it counts the turns so let's give it some turns here we'll give it about 50 60 turns and it's going clockwise even though it looks like it's backwards. Alright, we got it. Let's give her a flight. Pretty good. The wind's kind of a crosswind, so it blew it around that tree. We'll try it again here. Hey, that looked pretty good too, but a little bit of a crosswind still. We can adjust a little bit for that on the rudder. That looked good. Up oh, till it hit the tree. There's a good one. 